and welcome to our replay viewers as well as to the people who are watching live. I'm Sarah Stovetop coming live from my kitchen and today we're going to make some holiday popcorn crunch bark. And I think this is a great idea for gifting. Like I will I always make something for my um, my cleaning people, my garbage people, all the people that, you know, kind of you touch their lives a little bit but you're not, you know, in a you don't always give gifts back and forth for the birthdays and things like that. But I always like to acknowledge that there's people who serve who do service for us um, with something. And so usually it's something I've cooked because I love to cook. So Paper Chef has this wonderful holiday popcorn crunch bark. And it's basically popcorn with some pretzels in it and then uh, you melt some chocolate uh, pieces. Actually, I'm using the white chocolate today. And um, today I'm gonna make it with coconut and macadamia nuts as well. So let's get started. Let me show you what I've already done. I've already made a bunch of popcorn. So you could use the pre-packaged ones that you cook in the microwave, and it just takes one package of that. Or you can make your own, and that's what I did. I used my Pampered Chef uh, microwave popcorn maker, and it took a few because this is the personal size, so I need to make it a little bit bigger. And um, all you do is put, measure your popcorn and put it in there. And then you also could melt butter in here, but they don't really want butter in, in there. So we're gonna do it that way. We're just plain popcorn. Actually, it's supposed to be lightly salted, so let me grab some salt. And I'm gonna put that, so I've got my salt, sh not shaker, but um, what do we call that? Uh, salt, oh look, hold on one second, I just need to, oh, there's Hobbs. Hello, Hobbs. <laughs> So we're just gonna put a little bit of salt in here and mix that up. And Hobbs loves popcorn, so he's gonna be helping me today. <laughs> Anything that falls out. The other thing that we're gonna need to put in there is some, oh, and I wanted to show you, I use some some heirloom popcorn that's um, actually, I think it's, oh uh, yeah, it's gluten-free of course, and it's non-GMO certified. We got this at the farmer's market this summer, and um, I think it's pretty good. So that's what we used. We're also gonna use some, they, it calls for the small mini pretzel twists, but I didn't have any. I had some gluten-free uh, pretzels, pretzel sticks, so I just put them in here. This way my husband can eat some if I choose to gift some to him. And um, I'm gonna use my, uh, what do we call this? It is a meat tenderizer, but it's on the flat side. So I'm just gonna use this a little bit to crunch things up. Hold on one second, let me show you. Can you see that? Just to get them a little crunched up. You don't need a lot, because you still want it to have some substance to it, but you don't want it to be sticks either. And that's about right doesn't have to be a lot. So that's gonna go into our bowl. Okay, so we're all set with that. And let's see. Then, oh, I wanted to talk about the, this is that almond bark, I think they call it. It's like white chocolate. You can also get it in, in a chocolate flavor. And it comes in these like one ounce I guess you'd call it. They're pretty substantial in size. You may have seen them in the uh, baker section. And I just put them in my silicone, um, what, is, what do we call these? These are the silicone prep bowls. This is the four cup size. And you know, we needed all the four cups because look at how much is in there. And I put it in the microwave in 30 second increments so that I could watch it, make sure it doesn't burn, and I could stir it. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this in. But before we do that, Let's get everything else ready to go in because we're going to want it to go in quickly so that it all gets, uh, con not congealed, but covered with the chocolate sauce. Okay, so then I've got some macadamia nuts, which I got at Trader Joe's, and I think they do such a great job with nuts. It's much less expensive than going to other stores, it seems. So if, you're, if you have one near you, take advantage of it because I think that the, the Trader Joe's are just fantastic. So it's the macadamia nuts, and I love these. And these are lightly salted, and I'm just going to use my um, food chopper 
to, um, to chop them up roughly, not, not a lot. So let's put, turn this down and I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna do it on here. There we go, pretty rough. Does not have to be a lot. And we're gonna get the rest of these done. So if you're joining me on, hello Jeannie. If you're joining me now or on the replay, tell me what you think you would like to put in your holiday popcorn crunch bark. I used to make a holiday bark that had um, cherries and almonds in it, dried cherries and almonds in it, which I really like and I can't find that recipe right now. So I was gonna do that originally and then I forgot. <laughs> So we're just, like I said, we're just roughly chopping these. And if you have the food chopper, let me know what you like to do with it. So look at, there's a lot of, um, that's a lot of nuts there. Wow. Okay. I think that's good. And then I also have some toasted coconut. And I just put this in the uh, microwave, uh, the micro cooker, and I cooked it in the microwave in like 50, like 30 second increments. And um, I'm gonna wave to you. To you. <laughs> um, anyways, I cooked it in 30 second increments just to get it a little bit toasted. It smells really good. And um, I'm actually, it was supposed to be a cup and a half, and I, I think I have less than a cup here. I'm not sure if you can measure it. It's about a cup, yeah, not even. Oh well, so it's gonna be a little light on the <laughs> on the coconut taste. Oh well, you know, sometimes that happens. You think you've got an ingredient, you get to the grocery store, you don't get it, you get home and you're like, oh, I guess I don't have that. It happens, so you just make do. So it'll be a little less coconutty, which is fine. And then we're gonna, um, oops, I forgot. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. I'm going to turn down the camera so you can see, and I'm going to bring it closer. So, hold on. There we go. Mix this up. And now I'm going to pour in the um, chocolate. Oh, I forgot. One of the last ingredients is some candies, uh, candy-coated chocolate pieces. It called for blue ones. I couldn't find just blue, so we're using the Trader Joe's chocolate drops. Go multicolor, so it'll be very, it'll be very festive, <laughs> and I think that's okay <laughs> because after all, this is a gift, and it's gonna go to, you know, people locally. So I think it costs for yeah, a cup. I wasn't sure if I, I think one package is basically a cup, just for future reference. So I have enough to make another package, another batch if I want to. So those are the Trader Joe's candy coated chocolate drops. It's eight ounces, which of course is a cup. Duh. Okay, I didn't really check that, did I? <laughs> oh well, I'll have to make another batch. So that'll be pretty well received by whoever gets those. Um, so here we go. So like I said, I've melted the chocolate, uh, the almond bark it's what it's called, I, in the microwave in 30 second increments and we're just gonna pour it over. Oops, I don't think you can see, so let me just turn this down. over Ooh, that looks good. and then we'll mix it up and then we'll add the um, macadamia nuts and the uh, chocolate pieces oh that's so good so um, I'm thinking that this would be great also you could add you could do something different you could do like peppermint you could do um, let's see uh, and then you could do if you could find, I guess you could find the green and red ones this time of year of the M&Ms or the chocolate covered candies, I guess you want to say, because you don't want to call out any specific brands these days. Okay. All right. So then I'm just going to mix this up. And, and it's good to tilt it so that it doesn't come out of the, of the bowl. And it's a lot in here, right? It's, and it's getting a little bit harder to do. get a piece of chocolate. He'll be so happy. Because, <laughs> of course, dogs do not have. And look at how festive this looks. How fun. Oh, my goodness. I can't 
can't wait to try this. I mean, I've tried it before, but it's very good. And it's fun, and look at how easy, and it's no bake. So, like, if you only have a microwave, you can make this. Perfect. And it's a crowd pleaser, too. People love this. It's sweet, it's got the crunch factor, it's got salty too, because you've got the pretzels and it's like a lightly salted macadamia nuts and lightly salted um, uh, popcorn. So everything is kind of working to your advantage in, uh, with the sweet versus salty there. So look at how good, what do you think? Does that look good? Oh, you don't know how to wave back, but thank you. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you for, for wanting to. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this into, it says to put it in a large um, pan, large, uh, like a baking pan, but I couldn't, I, I had put my metal ones are somewhere else. So I just found the bar pan. <coughs> Excuse me. And that will be fine. And I did put some coconut oil in the bottom of the pan just to make sure that nothing sticks to it. So we're gonna put that in there and then once it's in there, we'll, uh, we'll put it in the freezer. Oh, Hobbs is protecting us from something. I don't know what. Oh, this part didn't get mixed. Wait a second. <laughs> gotta mix it up here. It's such a deep bowl. All right, here we go. And if you hear um, drumming in the background, that is my son. That's Joshua, he's the drummer. He is, you know, practicing. And it's in the basement, but I think the door must be open. So that's why it's kind of loud if you can hear it. But I hope you don't mind. He's actually very good, so it's not. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's piled up on here. Okay. I probably could have used the bigger bar pan. Or not the bar pan, the, um, oh goodness, the sheet pan. That probably would have been fine. So look at how yummy this is. I will taste it. Mmm. Mmm. It does have that sweet and sal salty. Really good. Mmm. Mmm. Hi, Sue. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and I'm going to wave to you too, Sue. Okay. So now I have stuff all over my hands, which is great. What I did want to show you, one last thing. So this is gonna go in the refrigerator and it really only needs to go in for like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Um, you can store it at room temperature in an airtight container for up to four to five days. So it's a great thing, like you could do it on the weekend and then give it to your postman sometime this week, um, which is what I'm planning to do. Or, you know, give it to, uh, you know, some, your garbage people also. That's, I always like to leave them a little something. So a couple ideas for packaging it. We do have these fun boxes for, um, excuse me, for cakes and stuff, but I thought it'd be cool in there, but that's not really airtight. So I do have, where is it? Oh, here we go. Oh, I put it over here already. Huh. These, I have these fun bags. They're like clear cellophane bags, and I think they're a good size and I have these fun gift tags. Happiness is homemade from the Pampered Chef. I got them at conference this summer. I thought this would be a perfect use for this. So I'm gonna tie those up and put them, put that on it, and that should be perfect for that. So that's what I'm gonna do for my holiday gifting for you know all the service people because they love to get something. <laughs> and and you know it adds up if you are um, giving a lot of gifts. So I like to do something homemade just because I think it's really fun to be able to do that. So anyways, I'm glad you like it. Oh, thanks for the hearts. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them below in the chat. And, um, and I'm glad you joined me today. And have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And thanks for joining me. This is Sarah Stovetop signing off for now. And thanks for joining me. Bye.